this video, I will be showing you how to draw this hammerhead shark that you see. So, first, we need a blank piece of paper. So, step one is we're drawing the hammer. So, you're going to take your, make like a curve, and at the top, you bring it down a little bit. See? Then you bring it up. Like that, okay? Then we make a go a little up a little bit, down, and then you curve it, okay? So this part you're gonna draw down right there. That's gonna be part of the body. Then to continue the hammer, you have to draw up, down. So this part is like the bumps on the hammer. Because on the hammer, because this is a hammerhead. Um, it's actually a scalped head, so it has the bumps. And then you're going to curve it off right here. Just like that. Okay? Then right here, you're going to bring it and kind of like make an opposite outline like that. Now we're going to make the eye for on his hammer. So, simply make a circle. Put it, and then rub really hard so you can make a nice dot. And lightly shade around it. Make that a little darker. There's the eye. And then all around it, just shade a little bit. So you have that. Now, you're going to bring this line down for his body, and it's going to make a little stop right there. And for his dorsal fin, you make a line there, 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 and shade this in, but that's for his dorsal fin, okay? Now, for the pectoral fins, or some people think of them as flippers, you just, ah. so, you have to bring a line curving down, like this. Make sure it doesn't go to the very tip. And then you bring it down, up, around, and curved. Okay, you see that? Then for the, the mouth, and since most sharks, oh wait, for the mouth you're gonna make a curve like that because their mouths open more like that instead of other sharks more like that, okay? And so you put the teeth in and when you're shading in the mouth, you want to make sure to go around the teeth. Otherwise, the teeth just look like they were never there. I didn't do as good of a job. Look at this one. See how you can see the whites of the teeth. And so, then you're going to finish off the body and the bottom right there, like that. Now for its tail fin, you just do this, so you make the line, and this line is actually a curve, then that's straight, okay, so straight, curve, straight, then from right here, you bring that. Then at the tip that you made here, you bring it down, and stop right about here, so you have room for these two fins, which that one's just a triangle without the bottom. This is a curve and straight and without the bottom. See, this is a curve. That is straight and those two are straight, okay? Now, we're gonna make like an imaginary line kind of. Like, so shade this very lightly about here, okay? See that light line I just made? Um, because that part is going to be a little darker. This is going to be lighter. 
to show how it's not flat. It's more 3D because it's the view of the hammerhead is kind of like the underneath. Okay? So, for the other pectoral fin or flipper, you make this weird, like, funky kind of like S shape. See, it's kind of like a like a stretched out S. Then make a big loop like that. And then like loop and curve it off right in here. And so this should be about touching there. Okay. And so right see this other this pectoral fin that we just drew? Right after it, you're gonna draw four lines for the gills. Okay. Now we're gonna get into the shading. So right here. You're just going to shade simply just by making the pencil do this. And then over here, we're just going to do a little bit of shading. Okay. Now for the whole top of the hammer, we're going to shade it in a little like this. Okay. Just like that. Okay? Now, right here, we're going to do a different type of shading. We're going to make a few light lines like this. Take your finger and just smudge it in. It actually makes a good, really good effect. So, sometimes you'll see you'll need a few more lines. Let's do that. And a little more rubbing. Okay, and you're gonna bring that down a little bit, rubbing those lines a little more. Okay, so now we're simply gonna do that on the other side. Just we're gonna make it a little darker here, and a little darker here, and add a few lines. And we shade. So this time you're gonna have want to bring it down like that. Okay, now, you know, remember when I made that line? Now, on the whole line, we're just going to make other little short lines right before you get to the tail. And then we're going to shade that in. Now, you might see when you're shading it, the gills that you put on those four lines might start to fade away. Wait, I need a few more lines over here. You can add lines whenever you like, just to make it look more customized. How much you like it. If you want it to be lighter, make it not as much lines. If you want it to be darker, put more lines. Now, my finger just sometimes isn't as wet. Sometimes if it's a little more wet, like kind of damp, then it might rub in a little better. But it's just not like Right, for the, right now. Now make the gills a little darker. But when I said you want your finger wet, don't go pause, go to the sink and get your finger wet. Don't do that. It'll ruin it. So if your fingers is dry, if your finger is dry, then it'll still work. Just might take a little longer. Okay. Oh. So now for the dorsal fin, you're going to make like about one, two lines. But you would have done, th I would have done three, but I made them a little too dark. And so then you shade. And since, it's, since I made them a little too dark, I'm going to gonna erase the lines a little bit. But not, I didn't erase that hard and you could still see it's shaded in there. Just for the darker part of the, remember, the darker part is at the tip, and then this part is going to be lighter. Okay? So now, we're going to do the tail. The tail, I didn't shade in with your finger. I just did the first shading strategy I showed you, like this. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna stop here for now, and we're gonna move on to the pectoral fins. I'm just gonna draw a few kind of like wavy lines to go along with it, and then use a finger strat finger strategy to get them in. Uh, Sometimes you, you can use your thumb and press hard to make it well. And so now we're going to move back to here with the other strategy, just doing this. Okay. Now we're going to do the other pectoral fin. I'm going to make like arch lines. And just make a little short really short lines to that part and then rub and so sometimes if it's really not going take your thumb and since it's a little bigger press harder it'll work better just like that now to get that little part okay so now I'm gonna move on to here this part is gonna be a little lighter than this so I'm gonna have to make that a little darker but put like one two three for like that, and then start rubbing. You don't want to rub it past the mouth because we want this part to be white. I'm just gonna rub underneath it, and don't rub that past that line right there that we drew before. Sometimes, if some one of your finger gets a little sweaty, then switch to that finger. And it might rub a little better. Okay, now also rub into those little fins we made right before the tail. And you see how you can still kind of see that? I'm gonna use the eraser and also I'm gonna lighten it up also a little bit all around it. There, now we're almost done. We're gonna make this part a little darker. Put one, two, three, four lines like that. And rub. Take your eraser and do the same thing with the pencil tip, just with the eraser, to erase some spots. And if you rub it in, it'll actually make the rest a little lighter. So you see how that part's a little darker? I'm going to make erase marks. Rub in. It's getting a little lighter. Okay. So, now you have finished your hammerhead drawing.